Um, I think we'll, I think we'll get started. We're past the hour. Um, I can see a number of people. Many people are joined, so I think it's uh, a good time to get going. Um, my name is Hugo Bishop. I, I lead the U the SecOps portfolio for Cisco here in the UK. Um, come from the uh, Cisco Umbrella team, um, which is what we're about today. A little bit of housekeeping. There is a um, Q and A panel. I believe for you to enter um, any questions as we go along. Um, I, I believe everyone will be muted. So um, please do use that, um, that Q&A section. We've got people on the line uh, ready and willing to, to answer any questions that come up. Um, but yeah, fundamentally what I'm here to talk to you today about is, is what's new with cloud security at, at Cisco. Um, so uh, I guess let, let's get started. Um, you know, a couple of questions to, to, to bear in mind as we um, as we move through this presentation, uh, and a couple of contexts and trends that, that we've seen and we're looking to address with the cloud security portfolio here. Are things like you know, um, what what kind of prevalence um, are you are you seeing in SaaS application consumption within your organization? Um, what kind of movement towards you know remote usage and branch offices making direct internet access instead of uh, you know all your traffic being backhauled via VPN or or MPLS? Um, what considerations do you have around um, around using SD WAN to enable that transformation to DIA? And and how are you looking to secure um, you know this 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 new networking um, and, and and new network edge? You know, with 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 often limited staff within the organisation. So, what we've done here at Cisco is we've taken the Cisco Umbrella platform, um, which I, I'm guessing and many people on the on the call are going to be familiar with. Um, that 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 large global DNS network that we leverage for enforcement at the DNS request, and we and we're building that out um, into a into a suite of capabilities, um, and we'll touch on each as we move. Through through the presentation that organizations need as they look to address these, 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 these network transformations. So during this presentation, what I'm going to look at really is how Cisco Umbrella in the new world integrates those multiple security services, you know, still very much with an emphasis on DNS layer security, but also cloud firewall links, secure web gateway, um, cloud access security brokerage, and more to, to, to a central management platform um, to protect all of your remote and branch locations and how we offer that really that high efficacy of protection from a single platform. So reducing you know, time, money, complexity, resource um, that has previously been required um, for deployment and configuration of these different capabilities. So, so first, first things first, let's take a look back to the traditional model. I think this is a slide probably many people are familiar with, right? But Things used to look in the in the simple age of IT when all applications were hosted on prem. You had to be on the corporate network in order to access them or to get any work done. Branch offices would be tunneling all traffic back to the corporate data center of MPLS, and all internet access was rooted there. You had your complete security stack um, at, at you know at, at the corporate HQ, firewall, secure web gateway, etc. All deployed within that corporate data center at HQ, and all traffic was funneled through it. So this was very simple and it was very effective from a visibility and a security perspective. Um, and for years, this was the way that companies deployed their network architecture. However, what we've seen is that networks are becoming more decentralized because of internet and cloud. Um, you can connect and get work done from any device, any location and any time, wherever you are. So we're seeing the network transform. So more applications are moving to the cloud, fundamentally changing the way we work and allowing the use of these SaaS applications and the use of remote working as a business enablement tool as the number of roaming and mobile workers increase, adopt direct internet access or direct to cloud access. And there's, no, there's a number of reasons for this. MPLS is, is very, very expensive. Broadband is, is less expensive. So many organizations are re-architecting their network to use MPLS for only those critical applications like voice or video, connecting directly to the internet for all the others. And as organizations refresh their networks to better enable direct internet access, many are adopting SD-WAN technologies, software-defined wide area network technologies to enable this. But as you move towards this more direct to internet access, security needs to be made a major consideration because 
what we're seeing is this is, has increased the prevalence um, of some of the major security challenges that we see organizations facing, right? So the obvious one here being gaps in visibility and coverage. Um, fun, fantastic, um, decentralization is fantastic from a business enablement perspective, but in terms of visibility of, of all your internet and web traffic, um, access and what's going on within cloud applications, um, significant uh, gaps have, have appeared in that visibility and the security coverage that you used to have hosted on-prem. Right? We still hear from organizations, you know, malware, ransomware, major, major problem, right? So the, many, many, huge volume and complexity of security tool sets uh, that perhaps aren't integrated, uh, perhaps are not talking to each other, you know, huge amounts of alerts across that stack, um, still not dealing with that fundamental problem of not allowing malware into the, into the organization. And to, and to top all that off, um you know limited security resources to manage uh, to manage these not only the tools but the alerting um and the challenges therein historically if we take a if we take a look at where cisco have looked at kind of a broad cloud security coverage they've had we've had umbrella and um, umbrella on the left right so providing visibility control for all inside activity right with cloud lock focusing on shadow IT and connected applications, uh, you know, auth protocol to connect into those applications to see, you know, user login behavior um, and, and what data is being shared within those SaaS applications. So the threat protection umbrella is stopping connections to those malicious destinations on the internet, while CloudLock's helping protect cloud user accounts from, from compromise by outside attackers, as well as misuse by malicious insiders. Um, both of these tool sets have historically enabled forensics in an event of a breach. Um, and from a protection perspective, Umbrella has command and control pullbacks, while CloudLock can help you understand and react to the risks to the data that you have stored in the cloud. Um, we've had StealthWatch Cloud on the right, that is looking at um, detecting, giving visibility into, into activity with environments. From a cloud security perspective, this was kind of this was the way Cisco looked at things in the past. Um, so we commissioned some some research with, with a group called ESG, focused on validating some trends in the market and customer perceptions and current technology consumption patterns for securing remote workers on locations. So in this research, we see four out of five organizations shifting to DIA in the branch, right? 76% of organizations are using SD-WAN extensively or selectively, and we expect these numbers to grow. Um, and this, the challenge that this creates is that 42% of branch office security deployments take over a month, uh, still sometimes predicated on you know, ho complex hardware deployments. Um, and also the trends that we're seeing from the attack vector is that it's those remote users, because they're not being protected by the full security stack that are being targeted more and more in recent attacks. Talk to organizations about how they want to how they want to secure this remote security challenge. They're looking at what they really want is a multifunction security platform to solve these challenges. And so as, as we've looked at Umbrella and the Umbrella platform and where it's sat in the past, we've looked at some of these um, security controls that have traditionally sat on-prem. So you, your web gateway, although there's been a shift to the cloud in terms of the web gateway in recent years, but also firewalling, DLP functionalities. Um, the secure internet gateway is a, is, a, is a term that was coined by Gartner. It's an emerging product category that brings together these once kind of standalone on-premise solutions, for securing internet access and usage into a single consolidated platform delivered from the cloud. Um, this slide kind of, uh, reinforces what we're saying here in the Gartner. We're not the only ones saying this and looking at these trends in the market. So Gartner has now validated the, that the secure web, web gateway market is transforming to a secure internet gateway marketplace. And you can see that at core elements of where Cisco's cloud security platform has come from, such as that, DN, that security, the DNS layer um, for connectivity and for security is a critical component of what Gartner sees the shift towards secure internet gateway. So Cisco Umbrella, in today's 
um, today's world is looking to bring together these varying capabilities as discussed. So on the left, you can see that DNS layer security. That remains a, a key component of, of, Cisco's, of Cisco Umbrella platform, not only as an on-ramp to the service itself, but as a very powerful, very simple, powerful place to enforce security. But we also want to give organizations, as I've touched on, this kind of capabilities that they can pick and choose within their organization what they need deployed at different parts of the network and on different parts of web and internet traffic. So we have out of a secure web gateway, a full proxy. We build out a cloud delivered firewall. We're beginning to integrate um, elements of uh, the cloud lock uh, product, which was this goes um, Casby solution that they acquired three years ago. We're getting to integrate that directly into the umbrella platform and underpinning everything is that correlated thread Intel access. Um, so we're going to pick apart these one by one, but just here around what you really get from a secure internet gateway. So what Umbrella is going to provide here is visibility. It's going to provide visibility into all your internet and web traffic, whether those users are on or off your corporate network, across all ports and protocols. It's going to deliver protection, protection from external threats, leveraging Intel from Cisco Talos, the largest non-governmental research organization on the planet. It also gives you access to Umbrella's thread Intel. We're going to touch on this later and, and the numbers that kind of back that up. To, to enable faster investigations, and it's going to give you control. So this is one of the this is one of the things that we've heard from our users of Umbrella in the past is from an enforcement perspective, you know, leveraging the DNS request as that first request out to the internet and blocking or allowing at that point is a very easy and powerful um, place to enforce security, but still looking for those additional controls. So around all blocking, port and protocol rules, content filtering, time of day, um, and additional traditional proxy controls that we're beginning to bring into the product as well for the traffic on which you want to enforce that. And obviously also application control. The line point, be, like point being here, as I've said, is to deliver that protection everywhere. So Umbrella, if Umbrella is going to boost your existing security at HQ, like HQ and that big security stack of the data center is, you know, it, it's not being forgotten here, right? It's a critical component of any, of any security rollout in any organization. And, and deploying Umbrella on top of that existing security stack is going to boost it. Um, we've, in research that we've done, Umbrella's DNS layer security alone has helped over half of our customers Customers reduce malware by up to 70%. That was a tech validate survey that we did this year in 2019. But they're not enabling that off network protection. So, with more remote workers, new to users protected anywhere they work, even when they're not on the network or they turn their VPN off, for instance. So you have to find an easy way to extend that HQ security off network and then securing your network transformation that we talked about already, right? So with DIA and SD1 transformations, organization need a simple way to protect all your office locations without needing to deploy a stack of appliances everywhere or implementing that very expensive MPLS backhaul. So I'm going to pick apart these components one by one. So this one should probably be familiar with, with a lot of people on the call, right? So um, Four years ago, Cisco acquired the Open DNS network, which is a very large, very reliable network that leverages the DNS request um, to enforce security. This remains a major differentiator for, for us at Umbrella. So no, no other security product can be deployed faster than at the DNS layer. Um, it, the protection here can be deployed in minutes enterprise-wide, and then you can add other security controls over time, such as the web gateway and cloud delivered firewall that we're about to come on to talk about. But DNS is the first step in nearly all internet connections as you devices. Umbrella, we're, we're basically trying to give you something that you're already doing. So anytime that you click on a link or go or try and access the domain, um, the request goes to a recursive DNS service like Umbrella. That might be your um, ISP, it might be Google. Um, that's the point at which we enforce the the DNS layer security and block domain that are associated with malware or phishing or command and control callbacks or other unacceptable requests 
Um, you know, one of the things we've built out um, on the, D at the DNS layer in recent times is more granularity around our security categorizations, right? So we're now looking at things like crypto mining, DNS tunneling. Uh, as I've said, because we leverage DNS, it's incredibly easy to deploy. It's all you have to do to get started is to point your external DNS, the Umbrella Global Network. Um, we, we've seen organizations globally in, in kind of minutes as opposed to hours uh, or months as, as with some security deployments. So as I've said, we have had more and more kind of requests for um, for some users in some locations uh, where DNS layer security is perhaps not, not the perfect fit or not, not delivering all the controls required, where, where deeper inspection and more granular controls are needed. So in addition to that DNS layer security and the selective proxy that we have within the traditional umbrella product, we now offer a full secure web gateway um, for full web proxy functionality. So I'm right, the, this secure web gateway provides visibility, control, and protection across all web traffic, including HTTPS. And so it's going to provide features like full all logging, cloud application discovery to provide additional visibility, content filtering and uh, content filtering and all block and allow lists to help enforce acceptable use policies, um, SSL decryption and file inspection to further protect against mal malware. Now, also, also now available uh, in the Umbrella platform is our cloud-delivered firewall. Um, idea here being, you know, as branches move to DIA, um, delivering some of those firewall capabilities rather than rolling up a physical stack branch office just to deliver, just to deliver those firewall capabilities from the cloud. So with Umbrella's cloud-delivered firewall, you, you get fully granular IP-based blocking. Um, to remote protocols, performed and configured through a single unified, you know, cloud-delivered management experience. So to connect to uh, the Umbrella cloud infrastructure, you only need to configure an IPsec tunnel from the devices currently living within your branch offices to our cloud. There, you would have full control over the traffic that is sent to our cloud and what level of control enforcement you would like to apply. Adding a new branch office is as simple as creating a new tunnel and you can have a single policy that pulls down as you spin up each new site. So the major benefit to this model is you don't have to have many different management planes uh, managing all of your firewall enforcement rules. There's one place to make any changes. In addition, once a new tunnel is set up and online, all the firewall rules that apply globally are automatically enforced through that tunnel. The traffic matches that underlying rule. So from basically, what we're giving you here is really, really easy setup and delivery. Um, so what so what what you're getting at this point in time from the umbrella cloud delivered firewall is um, IP you know IP port protocol blocking rules at the layer three and layer four layer seven so that the application layer um, is on the roadmap and uh, it, it, you know is 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 coming up for delivery. Um, finally, we, what we also allow you to do is is anonymize IP addresses to separate your guests. Uh, and employee traffic to eliminate negative impact on security rating. We see kind of bit site scores um, as being a, a real prevalent use case here. A lot of organizations are coming to us and referencing, you know, high bit site scores, which impact their uh, insurance premiums significantly. And we've, we've run a number of use cases with organizations where the deployment of Umbrella, even just at the DNS layer, but also as we move towards the cloud delivered firewall deployments, making a significant improvement on those bit site scores. Um, and so this slide just talks a little bit about how these capabilities are going to work together. So Umbrella's DNS layer security, as I've said, is that kind of first check, first check for malicious or unwanted domains um, based on our intelligence. This reduces the amount of traffic that is then sent to the cloud delivered firewall or, this, or the secure web gateway. So that improves the responsiveness and performance of those additional capabilities. Well, so next in the step would be when the cloud delivered firewall comes in and forces IP port and protocol rules. Finally, the secure web gateway checks all web traffic for malware policy violations. Uh, this, is a, this is a functionality that's been in the Umbrella product for some time, so some people on the call may be familiar with this, but this is, um, 
this is uh, the first kind of core technology that was taken from Cisco CloudLock, Cisco's Casby solution, and being built into Umbrella to help expose by providing the ability to detect and report on cloud applications that are in use across the environment. So it automatically generates an overview report of vendor, um, the categorization that we put that, that SaaS application into, the name of the application, the volume of activity of each of those applications. We can drill down into a risk association that we give based on a number of different elements so across things like DNS traffic to um, to the financials of the company, um, financial viability and other relevant compliance certifications to give a risk score um, to these SaaS applications being requested. And when we talk to organizations before we deploy and, and show them this report, they often think that perhaps there's, perhaps they have 50 applications running within the organization, perhaps one or two of those are collaboration applications and they might have an authorized or approved, um, you know, collaboration uh, application for use within the organization. And what we tend to find when we, when we deploy is significantly higher numbers. So you'll see, you know, on average, I think we see about 2,000 applications within an organization. We see up to, you know, 30, 40 collaboration tools. Organizations have very little um, visibility over what is being shared and w with what kind of um, public um, share rights within those applications. This is um, this insight enables better management of the cloud adoption uh, and reduction of risk and compliance risk and security risk um, for your organization. What we also give you the ability to do um, with with this with this feature within Umbrella is to is to block um, certain applications. What we do is we block all the domains associated with that application. Your users can no longer access it. This is, as I say, kind of iteration one of Casby functionality being brought into the Umbrella platform. Coming back to the SD-WAN, because we see, again, we see a huge amount of, of increase into SD-WAN adoption. Um, and looking at how the Cisco Umbrella platform can integrate with SD-WAN, simple and effective protection across that, across that fabric. At the moment, you can quickly deploy the DNS layer security um, uh, integrated with, with SD-WAN fabrics. Um, and what's coming very soon into the platform is adding that deeper inspection. So the secure web gateway and the cloud delivered firewall capabilities will integrate directly into SD-WAN fabrics to, ease, to allow you to easily scale and secure um, as you transform your network edge. Taking a step back, this is you know one of the key things that we've done with Cisco Umbrella since since acquisition is we've integrated that um, across a lot of the Cisco kind of networking and security portfolio uh, to to speed up deployment and to increase, you know visibility um, of the solution. So on the right hand side, you can see what's what's integrated at the DNS layer only at this time. Um, so you've got your, your integrations with AnyConnect, with the system of VLAN controller, or across the Meraki stack, um, security connector for iOS, that's our partnership with Apple. Um, so this allows swift deployment and integration across the Cisco networking architecture. And then as you look on the left, you know where we're building out that, that secure web gateway cloud delivered firewalling integrations with the ISR 4K router, with the Cisco ASA, you know, with the SD-WAN networks as we've just talked about. Um, but what's super, super important whenever you're talking about SaaS, delivery of delivery of a, of a security solution over a, over a cloud-delivered SaaS platform is that uptime is not just important, it, it, it's absolutely everything, right? And so we're very proud to say at Cisco that our Cisco Umbrella network has had 100% business uptime in 2006. Um, network itself includes 31 data centers around the world that resolve at point in time around 185 billion DNS requests every day from more than 90 million users. You know, we peer with over 800 of the top ISPs and CDNs to exchange BGP routes to ensure we're routing requests efficiently and not adding any latency over regional DNS providers. That's historically one of the huge benefits of Umbrella is that 
it's just one of the few, if, if not the only security solution that you can employ in the DNS layer that not only doesn't degrade performance or add any latency, but actually in, in many cases due to the speed and reliability of the network has actually improved that internet experience for the users adding, while adding security. So this is critical. So I think the two things that really underpin um, any SaaS delivered security solution is one, the infrastructure that it sits upon, the speed and reliability of that infrastructure as the onboard ramp for the suite of capabilities. But secondly, the efficacy, right? And we'll come on to the efficacy shortly. And how we deliver that 100% uptime um, is, with, a, is with, with what we call any cast IP routes. So all our data centers announce the same IP address, customer points to, to those IP addresses, and we transparently um, send those requests to the fastest available data center with an automated failover. So this has allowed us to deliver 100% uptime since 2006 um, on, on the recursive DNS platform. And we continue to let the cast um, as we move pure web gateway and cloud delivered firewalling. Um, what we're going to do here is we're going to use a simple technique. IPsec, IPsec tunnel configuration. So when you set up that IPsec tunnel, you select the data center handles for your request. You don't, you, you don't have to set up a backup IPsec tunnel required. So if that data center fails, your IPsec tunnel will automatically move over to the next active data center without any action needed from you. Um, so again, we leverage, and this is unique in the marketplace. So we're leveraging any cast for tunnel reliability and resilience, continue to maintain that uptime of the service. Take it a step back because I mentioned how important efficacy was. So this is our from the DNS um, from the umbrella um, DNS network globally. Th these are the kind of numbers that we're seeing. Uh, and on top of that reliable infrastructure, kind of data is the second key component of any SaaS delivered security platform. Efficacy is is really paramount, right? People like no single security tool is. Um, is ever going to solve 100% of your problems, and there's no such thing as a silver bullet. But with you know, false positives, um, is, is key, and being as effective as possible in the way that you enforce security is critical. So these are the numbers that we see at the moment, as I touched on earlier, from, from our global network. And what this allows us to do, uh, in conjunction with Cisco Talos, which, as I mentioned earlier, is the is uh, so Cisco Talos is not a product, right? It's um, it is the largest non-governmental threat intelligence organization on the planet. That's 250 full-time threat researchers. We analyze about 1.5 million unique malware samples daily, and we're blocking up to 20 billion threats. And Cisco Talos um, underpins the whole of Cisco's integrated security infrastructure, and feeds telemetry in and out of all the products that sit um, in in the Cisco security portfolio. Um, to be as effective as possible um, to allow our customers to block more and respond faster to threats. But on top of that, on top of Cisco Talos, what, what we have from that work that we've touched upon and those numbers that we saw about the number of requests we see every day um, is a huge amount of, a very large amount of very diverse data and incredible research team. Uh, and and on, on that data, there, where there are a number of well, dozens of models that we can that continuously analyze the millions of live events and all the historical data the network has since, since inception in 2006. So in a very, very dynamic, but also predictive way, uncover where malicious actors are staging their attacks out on the Internet. So it be very, very effective in where we uncover malware, ransomware um, and other threats. And we, and we do give customers access to that data. So Umbrella not only provides the enforcement at the DNS layer, but we also provide access to it, to our data, the Umbrella Investigate console or, or, or via API for better kind of fast to support instant response and security operations teams. So if you look at investigators, kind of single correlated source with the most complete view of the relationships and evolutions of domains, IPs, ASNs, you know, the neighborhoods and, and connections out there in the wider internet. 
um, to add security context and provide rich intelligence and visibility to enable your SOC analysts to better prioritize their instance and speed up investigations. And so this can be integrated with your existing security data in a SIM tool. Um, and it's one of our biggest differentiators um, in terms of actually giving dynamic and validated access to, to the data we're leveraging in real time to make the decisions that we're making from an enforcement perspective. So I'm going to wrap up um, the presentation at this point with just a couple of customer quotes um, around as we develop umbrella into this kind of new secure internet gateway, gateway kind of world. So um, I'll, I'll allow you to, to, to read these. But the, what these talk to is the improvements to, um, to branch and remote security after deploying umbrella and allowing organizations to continue on that decentralization path, transformation of their network while staying, while retaining ability and security. Um, of what their users are doing. Um, I'll finish off with just a quick quick slide to point you to uh, um, how, how you can trial the, the solution. Um, as we talked about, it's the umbrella, it's, it's one of the easiest security products you'll ever deploy. So you sign up, you point your DNS, and you're done. And we're beginning to, we can all immediately give you visibility of, of that activity that we're seeing from the networks. Uh, so what you need to do, visit signup.umbrella.com. Um, download the software and uh, and off you go. So that brings uh, to an end uh, my uh, presentation. Thank you for listening. Um, I guess just uh, as a quick recap um, across the kind of pertinent points, um, what we're looking to do, what we, we're building out with Umbrella is to is to build upon that kind of best in breed DNS layer enforcement based on this first class global network to build the umbrella platform into a suite of capabilities that organizations can access and deploy um, to, different, um, to different levels within their network and on the different um, areas of traffic and, and um, uh, <clears throat> in, based on the importance um, of that traffic and what controls and security they want to enforce. Um, so on top of that traditional DNS layer enforcement, which is still a critical part and on ramp to the service, we built out a full proxy. Um, we built out cloud delivered firewall. We're rolling in CASB functionality. Um, and all this is available now in Umbrella's secure internet gateway. So thank you very much for listening.